This is not a nymphing system. That's a stupid word. You're not Doug Swisher. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Welcome back to another huge fly fisherman video. Today's video is about the drop shot rig. It's also called the bounce rig or the cannonball rig, or you can make up whatever name you want. Remember, there are no rules in fly fishing. So I made a video about the 90 degree nymph rig, and I was kind of surprised how many people are so passionate about their bobber fishing rigs. Calm down. I mentioned doing a video about the drop shot rig, and a lot of people wanted it. So here you go. You're watching it. You might might think I'm making this video because I have a lot of experience with the drop shot rig. Well, I gotta be honest with you. This is YouTube, so it's all bullshit and I have about three months of experience fishing like this. And that was 15 years ago. I'll explain that later. So what is a drop shot rig and why do we use it? The drop shot rig is a nymph rig where your weight is below your flies. You can do whatever you want up at the top of your leader. That's not what this video is about. I'm just talking about the business end where your flies and weight are. You can do your flies in line or you can do droppers on tags, whatever. The important part is that the weight is at the bottom. I like to tie a little knot on the end of that bottom piece of tippet so the split shot doesn't slide off. That's a pro tip for you. The whole point of the drop shot rig is to avoid hooking stuff like rocks or sticks or weeds or old car parts on the bottom of the river. Instead of your flies being right on the bottom, your split shot is, and your split shot is much less likely to get hung up on something than your hooks are. Your split shot will sometimes get stuck on something, which is why I like to use a thinner piece of tippet for that bottom section so that if you have to break it off, you're only losing your weight and not your flies. That's pro tip number two. I'll invoice you. So the drop shot rig is good for not snagging bottom. Now let me tell you why it sucks. First, have fun casting it. I wish you the best of luck. The way a fly cast works is that the weight is in the line, not on the end of it. If you put all that split shot on the end of your rig, you're going to be lobbing and water loading your flies all day. It works, but it's not fly casting. Secondly, the drop shot rig is an absolute mess when you have a fish on. You're going straight to Tangletown, baby. I don't know about you, but one of my goals when I'm fishing is to minimize tangles and maximize beer drinking time. Every time you hook a fish on a drop shot rig, you're going to wish you watched my video on untangling. Yes, that's a skill. Third, I'm going to tell you why I stopped using the drop shot rig altogether. It pulls hooks out. What I mean is that if you have a fish that jumps, the weight of the split shot flying around on the end of your line can pull the hook out of the fish's mouth. I know it sounds weird, but it happened to me a bunch of times. So I quit using it and I still catch fish occasionally. In my opinion, the drop shot rig sucks, but it does have some applications. Apparently it's a necessity on the Beaverhead River, according to my Instagram DMs anyway. I'm guessing that's because it's a weedy river. Someone can fill me in on that. And one place that the drop shot rig worked really well for me was fishing mice's shrimp with a ton of weight in the toilet bowl before I realized that that whole scene is for chumps. And I'm talking about this toilet bowl, not this one. They're kind of the same thing though. In closing, I'll leave you with some random thoughts. I actually did some research for this video. I'm gonna pat myself on the back for that one. But I noticed a couple things. For one, most folks like to fish this rig with their flies on dropper tags. That's cool. I like inline better, but you do you. Also, why is everyone calling it the Provo Bounce Rig? It's been used all over the place forever. This isn't something that was invented in Utah, and it's definitely not Utah specific. And speaking of Utah, the guys at Fly Fish Food have a video about this rig, and of course, it's way overcomplicated because that's how they like to fly fish. And their rig has a tippet ring, so. All right, now this is the part of the video where you leave a comment telling me I'm wrong about everything, and that's fine. I don't care if you're wrong or if I'm I'm wrong, whatever. Fly fishing is a balance of you have to do it my way and you can do it whatever way you want. As soon as you accept that, you're gonna enjoy it even more than you already do. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you learned something today, or if not, maybe you were able to laugh with me or at me. I'll be back as soon as I can with another huge fly fisherman video for you. Until then, dry flies are cooler than nymphs anyway, and stay huge. There's a river right there. I did not bring a fishing pole. Oh well.